I was in a lift one time and a lady was being weird. And she says to me, you know, you look like, you look like Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> she said this to me. Okay. We, I, we, so far making a good yeah. point. But all right. Yeah. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, what hey, happens hey, next? I'm with there. you. So you okay. had like, I know what she, just, I know what she means, but yeah, I mean, no. like time and place. Lady. Thank you. Yeah. You just met the guy. I just got in your car. I don't know you like this. So I'm like this. Ah. And I'm tweeting at Lyft. So I'm in your Lyft right now. <laughs> oh, you ratted her out in oh, the yeah, car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over Mr. Potato Head? No, no, I, it, it was uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's on the money. <laughs> yeah. Get We're getting to old, dude. We're getting old. Get into a Lyft and somebody's like, oh, you're a fat Patrick Stewart. You would be like, hold on. <laughs> yeah, but if someone got in a Lyft and said. No, but right away, get to know me first. Honestly, I'm glad of my early displeasure and disliking of Eric Griffin has been proven right. I knew from the minute I heard him talk, from the minute I heard him, you know, opine on certain things, from the minute I saw him move, the way his body sits in t-shirts, the way his face is, this guy's a bit of a cunt. And um, it's been proven right. Anybody that treats people that pick them up in cars, especially Lyft drivers, Uber drivers this way, is a complete piece of shit. Because I count those people as like service workers. If you're a cunt to service workers, you're a cunt across the board. No exceptions no fucking you know exceptions no benefit of doubts if you're a cunt to service work people you are a piece of shit or, or anyone in the stream chat who's worked a bar job who's worked behind a bar who's worked in hospitality who's worked in clubs any person who's worked in stores as a sales assistant anyone who's worked in supermarkets whatever you would attest if that person's a cunt to you in the shop most likely they're a cunt outside of the shop as a person it just personally stinks and eric is one of those type of people first of all in this particular scenario he's a stand-up comedian second of all as per the flyer or the cover image of the stream eric griffin looks the way that he looks so eric griffin has heard this joke about mr potato head many many a times especially when he used to have this look now he's changed the look because i think he looks much better now i think his wife probably because this this new look that eric scott griffin's got is something i think a wife would inspire or maybe comments on streams or maybe right where she said oh actually you look quite nice with the beard so this stubble thing he is going on where he kind of grows out the beard he actually looks way better now nowadays but when he used to have this particular look he looks fucking horrendous, right? This particular look here, where he was trying to do this like Mr. Potato thing, head look, or he was maybe trying to carry on the persona of the actor that he played in. I forgot what, what that show he was in. He basically had the same sort of hairstyle. Maybe he was trying to make sure that people recognize him outside of the show, so he kept the same hairstyle. But this sort of like haircut, or this sort of like way he trimmed his beard and the way he dyed his mustache and how he cut his hair, he did look like Mr. Potato Head, especially with those, especially with those glasses. But now that he's somewhat changed his look and he's let his beard kind of fill out a bit, he doesn't look as much as like Mr. Potato Head. But still, that nose is that nose. That face is that face. Those eyes are that eyes. He's probably heard this joke a million times before. I understand to give him a little bit of grace and to give him a little bit of benefit of doubt. I don't understand it's annoying. When you look like somebody, I understand it's probably super annoying when people keep reminding you what you look like or who you look like. I get it. But as a stand-up comedian, surely you should have thicker skin than the usual person. You're part of the 1,250 sailor, what do you call it, um, Navy SEALs, um, elite fucking samurai comedians out there, right? You're in the hallowed group of comedians that are handpicked by Rogan. So much so that you get to perform at the Comedy Mothership. So you are the elite of the elite, the top, top, top ranking comedians out there. Surely you should have thicker skin than the average person. Surely you should be able to take some ribbons, some jabbing, even if it's from a fucking Uber driver, even if it's done in the most haphazard, clunky, weird way. Because like he said, opening a fucking U a lift door and then having the fucking driver just instantly insult you or take the piss out of you is pretty like unnerving. Oh my God, what the fuck's going on? Maybe you're not even in the mood. Maybe you're thinking about something else. Cool. But to then get in a car and start tweeting at the lift, like if he was, if he just said he was annoyed by it, I was him. I'd be thankful people aren't going with Dookie with Groucho Marx nose slash glasses exactly. slash dash. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. And at least he's getting recognized. At least people are giving a shit about his fucking face in the first place. F come on, man. Who gives a fuck? Big up Angel Ranger. I understand, right? I understand how annoying it can be. I get it. But surely, 
if this story ended, if this story started and ended with him saying he was annoyed by it and it got on his nerves because the person just was overly familiar and he hates when fans just assume because people say the piss out of him on pods and him in real life and that whole fucking soliloquy, cool, you got a point there, I understand. But to then start tweeting directly at Lyft to try and get that driver banned, to try and make them lose their employment, try and make them lose their fucking job, lose the ability for them to put food on the table because they said an, an out of hand, off the cuff joke to you one time. No, you're a dickhead. If that person was going on and on and on about the Miss Potato thing and they wouldn't listen to him saying, no, can you leave me alone, please? I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to read my lines. I'm trying to understand this garbage, this, you know, this marble mouth text from fucking Brendan, whatever it may be, fair. But if that person said it once as an offhand joke in the moment and then you're texting, fucking tweeting at Lyft directly to try and get them to fucking, you know, say, hey, DM us so you can get the fucking driver banned, you are a piece of shit. Because in all honesty, Lyft drivers, normal working class slash middle class, lower middle class people are the ones that fucking pay his wages. They're the ones that fucking fund his fucking life. They're the ones that will go watch his shows, watch your fucking podcast in the first place. They probably are the ones that recognize you the most and will say fucking what's up. You're probably going to interact with the most every, on your everyday life because they're the ones working service industry jobs anyway. So you're getting the very people who love and appreciate you, who follow you all around the country, fired because they made an offhand joke about what you look like, which is something that you are aware, aware of. He's not, don't act like you don't know you look like Mr. Potato Head. Don't act like you didn't like lean into it at one point. Don't act like you didn't use it as a crux to try and get some attention and shit and to try and have some like comedic fucking relief or a little bit of a, of a thing, of a shtick that you kind of use. Like similar to what fucking, a hacky thing that what, like what similar to what Bert does with taking his t-shirt off. At one point he enjoyed the fucking Mr. Potato Head um, insults or the ribs and the jazz in because it made him relevant. And somehow he's now become, you know, offended by it. But regardless, even if you're offended by it or not, you're a stand-up comedian. Have thicker skin, please. Please have thicker skin and stop trying to get fucking regular, normal folks fired for an offhand joke. Was that person quote unquote out of line or maybe inappropriate for saying what she said to you? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe in the moment. Cool. Whatever. But it's a fucking joke. Take it on the chin and move on. Stop being a fucking baby and trying to get people fired. Like this guy is a, what a dickhead. If this is true, by the way, he could be lying for comedic relief. He could be just making a story to make it funny. But if he did get in a car and get called Mr. Potato Head and then start immediately direct texting Lyft to try and get the fucking... Um, the Lyft driver fired, this guy's a piece of shit. And everything that I thought about him, my initial, you know, bad feeling that this guy's a bit of a hater, he's a little bit, like, bad-minded, the kind of person that would legitimately stab you in the back for a fucking role, and the kind of person that definitely talks bad about people behind the back. Like, Eric Griffin is definitely the type of person who, on stream, will be defending Brendan and be acting like, I don't understand why people say certain things about Brendan, he's a great guy, but then in private, he'll be saying mad shit about him. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, doubt it definitely eric's the type of guy who will chastise the haters and the trolls for talking bad about him but then he, would, he being brendan's friend he probably talks the worst stuff about brendan behind the back in the lift one time and the lady was being weird and she says to me you know you look like you look like mr potato head <laughs> she said this to me okay we, I, I, we so far making a good yeah. point but all right <laughs> <let's>, uh, <laughs> what, what happens hey, next i'm with there. there. So okay. you like, i know what she, just, I know what she right. means but yeah, i mean like uh, time and place lady. thank you yeah. you just met the guy I, I just got in your car i don't know you like this so i'm like this <laughs> and i'm tweeting at lyft so i'm in your lift right now <laughs> oh you ratted her out in oh, the yeah, car yeah, yeah, yeah. over mr potato head no, no, I, it, it, being proud to rat as well is like even more diabolical if he said what he said and then he brought it up and they're like oh shit i didn't think about that fair enough but he's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. being proud to rat inadvertently rap ratting one thing you shouldn't do it anyway but if you inadvertently rat because you just you know you felt angry and agreed at that point and you went to make a point and you went to be heard cool or you went to get the person back cool but if someone points out you're like oh shit i ratted that's bad but being proud that you ratted you're a piece of shit it was uncalled for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's on the money. <laughs> yeah, but you get we're to know old, me. Dude. We're getting you old. get into a lift and somebody's like, oh, you're a fat Patrick Stewart. You By the way, the way he said his insult to Bobby Kelly was way more insulting than what the driver said to him. The driver probably said to him, oh my God, fuck, you know who you look like? Uh, Mr. Potato Head. Like in a funny, f jovial, trying to, you know, trying to build some sort of familiarity maybe overly familiar but still i bet you the driver said it in a way more almost loving way than what he said to fucking bobby kelly about the pa pa patrick stewart thing 
he said that with way more venom in his voice, way more fucking bite, way more insult in his voice. Like that really came from a real place. You would be like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah, but if someone got in a lift and said, no, but right away, get to know me first. I was. A fuck you, fuck you, man, fuck you, you sausage finger cunt. Like fuck you. Honestly, his fucking ring can barely fit on his fucking finger already as it is. You know, he fucking does not miss a meal in the first place. But yeah, um, Eric Griffin's a piece of shit. Not surprised. Again, all my f initial feelings and disliking of Eric has been proven right in this particular clip. I hate people that take the piss out of service workers or try and get them fired in this regard. Like, what, what a cunt. You're a stand-up comedian. You know, you should have thicker skin than a regular person. Stop being a fucking bitch and stop trying to get people fired. Simple as that, really. Fuck Eric Griffin. Fuck Eric Griffin. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? Absolutely nothing.